Apartheid South Africa made him foreign affairs minister. He remained patriotic at the dawn of democracy. Thank you to the ANC for electing Mr. Ramaphosa. You've got no idea. You've got no idea how important that is for this country's future. And my dad realized that. Close to his death, he was a happy man because of this monumental event in our history. Because I can guarantee you that most South Africans have a lot more hope for the future than they had exactly a year ago. This is what Pik Bota has said. We need one another. We are a people together. We have a responsibility to make our country the best country we can. We also have a responsibility of showing other people that they can do it too. Those who served with him before and after democracy hailed his legacy. He looked ahead and bravely talked about the future at a time when other leaders in the ruling party seemed very reluctant to do so. As early in 1986 was referred to already, he said that he would gladly serve under a black president. Pick was a bit of a rebel which got him into trouble with his own party. It is a characteristic of his that I can identify with. The idea that there are bigger things involved than blind loyalty to one's party when you believe they are in the wrong. To me, his legacy is the multitude of nurses, doctors, diplomats, secretaries, lawyers, musicians, teachers, farmers, who get up every morning and work hard to make our country successful. The Portuguese Revolution, the end of the war in Angola, Mozambique and other former Portuguese territories, opened up space for the independence of Rhodesia and Namibia and the beginning of negotiations in South Africa. I think what has not sufficiently been acknowledged, and today some of it was hinted at, Minister Botha, supported by the then Department of Foreign Affairs, played a very important role in all these processes. Big Water's most famous saying was that South Africa is like a zebra. Whether you shoot the black or the white, the animal will die. Ntakwana Ngatani, SABC News, Pretoria.